Hey guys, this is Joe Romero from the Talus Company. I want to talk to you guys briefly today about Cypher Trust Manager, kind of our centralized key management platform and all the different use cases that we cover and how we kind of tie the different endpoints into a single platform. Usually, you know, people can do kind of like long PowerPoint presentations. I call it death by PowerPoint, where there's, you know, 30 or so slides that talks about multiple functionalities of, say, an enterprise key manager. And really the whole idea behind a single slide and me going through this is just going back to basics and what I would consider simplicity of encryption and how we can solve problems uh, by using encryption, decryption, and the different things that we offer uh, for different use cases uh, to kind of cover those different business requirements for the end user, which would be the customer. So in the middle, we have Cypher Trust Manager. This is our enterprise key management platform. This is a virtual or a hardware appliance. So two different offerings there. Uh, a lot of customers uh, want to go virtual these days, whether they're installing it in cloud or maybe in a private on-prem VMware environment uh, or what have you. So they want that flexibility of having a virtual appliance from a software standpoint. There are customers that still require a hardware-based appliance, and we still have a hardware-based appliance for on-prem. So if we start down here, I kind of want to start down here at the lower level and then work my way up. So from an enterprise key manager standpoint, we have different connectors that we support. So essentially, this Swiss Army knife is our key manager. You're buying the knife, and then we kind of feather out different blades of that knife. I'm going to go through those blades. So the first one is KMIP, right? So there's something that's called KMIP. It's Key Management Interoperability Protocol. The OASIS standard came out and we had tons of vendors and different silos. Everybody kind of had their own key management way of doing things. And it got very confusing at one point. And so KMIP standards came out. And what that essentially has solved is different KMIP clients where that's either worked into the operating system, a storage array, or what have you, they talk to a KMIP server. So our enterprise key manager has a KMIP server running under the hood and we can talk to multiple KMIP clients. So if we look right here, we have a storage array, right? So a lot of things right now, we have volume level encryption, data at rest encryption, then you have drive level encryption, you have tape library and tape drive level encryption, and then you also have VM level encryption, and all of those kind of fall into the category of KMIP clients, right? KMIP clients that are talking back to a KMIP server. So that's one facet that we could tie into with our enterprise key managers. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of draw a little line right there. So this is our KMIP functionality, back to our KMIP manager. Then we have server level, right? So there's a lot of requirements to encrypt at the server level for folders and files, and even network shares. And we have a product called Cypher Trust Transparent Encryption, and that's an agent-based software that we install on the OS itself that performs that crypto for folders, files, or network shares. So let me draw a little line from our centralized key manager over there. We cover that endpoint. And then we have native database encryption, TDE or EKM. So Oracle TDE, or for SQL, it's EKM. And what that is, we have what's called Cypher Trust Application Key Manager. It's another connector of ours that we tie into TDE and EKM, and we manage the CAC, the key encryption key, which is the master key for those databases. So I'm just going to draw another little line over there, tying that into our enterprise key manager. And then we have application and tokenization. So we have Cypher Trust application data protection, which, you know, whether you're writing an app in C or Java or .NET, we have a software deployment that we can tie into your application to perform crypto operations. We also have Cypher Trust tokenization, which comes in a vaultless or a vaulted version. So again, our centralized key manager ties into that. Just going to draw a little simple line. Then we have database column level encryption. So say you have Oracle, SQL, or DB2, and you want to perform column level encryption. We have a product called Cypher Trust database protection. So that's going to go right over to our centralized key manager. So that kind of ties that in. And then what we have, I'm going to skip this and go right down here. 
we have a cloud key manager. And what essentially that does is we can tie into Azure, AWS, GCP. We can manage the native keys that have been created in those environments. We can also create key material within our own appliance and then bring that key material into those cloud environments. So we have a actual key manager, a cloud key manager that runs under the hood of our enterprise key manager that can manage those native keys in cloud environments or create key material and put it into those cloud environments. I'm just gonna draw a line right over there. And then in our hardware appliance, we do have an embedded HSM card. If that is a requirement for, for, for FIPS 142 level three certification, if you want a software version of our appliance and you still have a compliance or audit point to meet FIPS, you can tie your software appliance, your virtual instance to an actual HSM. We have on-prem or we have a cloud HSM offering that we can actually offer that in to perform and create a root of trust relationship back to the enterprise key manager. So if you look at what I've done so far is, once again, this is a Swiss Army knife, and we simply feather out different blades, which we call connectors. All these are licensed options. So every time you light up one of these options to cover a use case need, there's a licensing activation that comes with that. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to grab a new little color. I'm going to kind of talk about that. So all the KMIP clients right here are tied back to what we call a flexibility connector license. So I'm just going to draw a little green line down here. So that's covered by the flexibility connector license. Then we have Cypher Trust Transparent Encryption. Again, that's for files, folders, network shares, at the OS level on Windows and Linux systems, we can encrypt there. And also for the database native encryption for TDE and EKM, those are covered with the Flex Basic connector. So I'm going to go like this and tie another one over here. And then if we come to this side of the house, we had the database native TDE EKM. And then right to the side of it, we have the application and tokenization. That's going to be covered by our Flex Advanced license. So that's going to go right there. And then we have the database column level encryption, or say Oracle SQL or DB2. Those are just some examples. That's going to be covered by our Flex Premium license. We go like that. And then we have the cloud units. So the cloud units are licenses that we tie into, whether it's AWS, Azure, GCP, that we charge on a cloud unit per basis, which gets a little bit more granular, but that ties into our cloud key manager and our bring your own key options. So I'm gonna tie that over here for that. And then right here is DDC, data allowance. DDC is our data discovery and classification tool. It runs as a microservice inside of our Cypher Trust Manager. And this allows us to go discover different data points, whether it be a server, an application server, or even a database. We put profiles together and it classifies data. So if you as a customer don't understand where your data is at, or you have a starting location, but you don't know what's out there, we can go discover that data and classify that data. And we basically tie that to a licensing mechanism for a data allowance. So say it's one terabyte, 15 terabytes, a petabyte, the way we license it is off the amount of data allowance. So I'm just gonna go like this and tie this over to our enterprise key manager since DDC runs under the hood. So that's simple, that is our platform. That's how it works and that's how it's licensed. The whole idea is this is a high level overview, simplicity of one slide of everything that we offer in a single platform for a single pane of glass management and how we license those components. Anyways, guys, wanted to make this quick and brief so you can kind of see what Talus has to offer from a data protection encryption standpoint and the different little connectors that we have and how we can go out and touch those endpoints and help you fulfill your needs from a data encryption standpoint. Thanks again, guys. If you need anything, please reach out to Talus. We're here to help you guys on your data journey. 
We want you guys to be successful. We want you guys to be protected. And we're experts in our field, and we want to make this as easy as possible. Thanks again. Have a great day.